So if you want to know what to wear in high school to make sure you look good and you stand out, today's video is going to show you exactly that. Alright, hey guys, how are you guys doing today? My name is Aaron Ramirez. If you are new around here and you want to learn more about fashion and fitness, that's exactly what I talk about in this channel. So if you want to learn more about that, make sure to subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. But anyways, like I said, today's video, I'm going to be teaching you what to wear and a few style tips so to make sure that you look good in high school so you can stand out and be one of the best dressed people in your school. And before we get started, I just want to let you know there's no actual proper way to dress in high school I honestly just said that for more clickbait but anyways but like I said there's no proper way to dress in high school these are all what looks good in my opinion a few style tips that I think you should incorporate just because I think it looks good and hopefully you guys can get some inspiration to implement in your own style anyways I'm gonna be giving you guys three tips to help you improve your style and then eight things that I think you should wear to high school so you can stand out, look good, and most importantly, feel good. So the first one on the list is having a range of style. Now this is very important and it's something that I looked over a lot last year. Last year was my junior year and honestly, I feel like I dressed the same throughout its entirety. All I would wear was basic minimal clothes and don't get me wrong, that looks really good. I still wear that to this day, but that was all I would wear. I never experimented with anything else. I just thought that the minimal aesthetic looked good on me. So that's all I did, but that was a huge mistake and I see a lot of people do this as well. They just stick to one aesthetic and they don't really experiment with anything else. In my opinion, that's a huge mistake that's holding you back in fashion because fashion is all about experimenting with other things. And if you're not doing that, you would just get tired of your clothes and it's gonna reflect in your style. So definitely play around with a bunch of aesthetics. Like I said, all I used to rock was that minimal aesthetic, but now I still do that. I also go for more of a 90s thrift aesthetic and kind of a streetwear aesthetic. Those are the three that I mostly experiment with. I do experiment with other things, but for now that's pretty much it. The second tip that I can give you is only following trends that look good on you. Now I see a ton of people who try to fit into trends that don't really look good in and and they just do it so they could fit in. And in all honesty, I think that you should definitely avoid doing that because you're not gonna feel confident with your style. So only do the trends that you think looks good on you and the ones that you feel confident wearing. If not, don't worry, trends die out really soon. There's gonna be a new one coming out really soon that you could experiment with. And number three, realizing the fact that money doesn't equal style. Now that's something I always talk about in this channel and I always try to help you out with that. But you gotta understand that the more money that you spend on style doesn't necessarily mean the more style that you have. In my opinion, I think it's a better decision to spend let's say $200 on a variety of different clothes rather than $200 on one jacket. And especially if you're in high school, Go for the cheaper things because chances are that you're going to outgrow it very, very soon. And also don't worry about too many designer things because in reality, that doesn't really boost your style. So just go with the cheaper alternatives. So anyways, those are the three tips that I can give you for improving your style and also be like feeling more confident with your style. But anyways, these are the eight things that I think you should be wearing to school so you could improve your style or at the very least experiment with your style. Because like I said, these are the things that I like and I definitely recommend you guys try out as well. All right, so the first one on the list is gonna be flannels and that's exactly what I'm wearing right now. Flannels, in my opinion, are something that you should definitely be wearing to school because one, they are very versatile, which means you could wear them pretty much however you want. I'm wearing it layered over a shirt right now, but you could wear it by yourself or over a hoodie pretty much any way that you want. And also they are very affordable. I got this one thrifted for only $5, but you can get a brand new one from H&M or ASOS or even Paxson pretty much anywhere for anywhere between $20 to $35. In my opinion, this is just a really great and easy way to upgrade your style and it's something that's gonna get you noticed. Number two on the list is gonna be cargo pants. Now this ties into the thing that I was saying earlier, which means experimenting with new things. I remember a while back I saw cargo pants and I thought that that's something that I would never wear just because it didn't look good on me, but I decided to buy a pair of cargo pants and I thought it looked great and I instantly fell in love with it. So I definitely recommend that you guys experiment with it because I think that it will elevate your style a lot more as well and so like I said just experiment with it and if you like it continue if you don't it's all good this is also something else that you can pretty much get anywhere ASOS H&M and I even bought one from Amazon which I'm gonna be doing a video about Amazon clothes just to prove to you guys that money doesn't equal style so if you want to see that that's gonna be the next video uploaded on this channel so make sure to go check it out so make sure that you're subscribed so you guys won't miss out on that Number three on the list is going to be jewelry. Now, unfortunately, I lost all of my rings because I'm really irresponsible, but I just bought a new one and I'm gonna be buying plenty more very soon. But right now, as you guys can tell, I've been wearing a silver necklace lately. And in my opinion, I like silver more than gold, but that's entirely up to you whether or not you wanna be wearing gold or silver. In my opinion, I think you should stick to one so you don't really like mismatch. 
So if you're gonna be wearing silver, wear an all silver set. Or if you're gonna be wearing gold, wear an all gold set. But the pieces of jewelry that I think that you should get for sure are rings, necklaces, or chains, whichever one that you like better, and a watch. Those are the four things that I definitely recommend that you guys should start with when you're barely getting into jewelry. And trust me, this is gonna be something that's gonna elevate your outfit no matter which aesthetic you're going for. Number four, chino pants or woven pants. Now, either one that you get, this is great for more of a smarter aesthetic, and it goes great with that minimal aesthetic, so if you guys haven't tried that out, I definitely recommend that you guys should start doing that as well, because not a lot of people do that, especially in high school. In my opinion, it's just great because it saves you a lot of money, and, and it's the easiest way to look good. Also, like I said, you don't see a lot of teens wearing it, so it's gonna definitely make you stand out and make you look a lot more smarter and sophisticated than the people that you hang out with. It's also a great option if you guys are going for a job interview. That's a great option rather than wearing like full on dress pants. Cause like I said, it gives off a sophisticated vibe without trying too hard. Number five, pullover sweaters. Now this is something that I absolutely fell in love with recently. I've been getting into these a ton, but I definitely think this is an essential, especially for teens because it's easy to pull off and it looks great on pretty much anybody. Now, which one you should get is entirely based on your style. If you're going for a more minimal classic look, get ones that are plain or very small logos. And if you're going for a more streetwear aesthetic, you can get some graphic ones or vintage ones. And also another piece of advice, definitely experiment with both of those just so you could have range like I was talking about earlier. Number six on the list is going to be a pair of boots. And the reason why I say that you should wear this in school is because think about it. Who do you know who wears boots? Not a lot of people in high school are wearing boots, so this will definitely make you stand out. My favorite ones are gonna be from Thursday Boots. I have the presidential ones. I think that you guys should get those as well. However, they are very pricey. So if you don't wanna spend that much, I totally understand, I got you guys covered. The best cheap places to get them are from ASOS and from Aldo's. Aldo's are a bit more high quality. Those are around $100 and ASOS. Those are less quality, but they are the best for cheap boots. They are around $50, so I definitely recommend that you check them out. Number seven on the list is Harrington jackets. Now this is something that I absolutely fell in love with pretty much like last month. This ties in perfect with that vintage aesthetic, which I absolutely love and I definitely recommend that you guys check it out. I think that not only is this a perfect essential for students, I think it's also an essential for the fall, especially if you get it in more of a brown or khaki color because that's perfect for the fall. And I definitely recommend that you guys pick one up as well. It'll definitely make you stand out in high school. And finally, number eight, long sleeve polos. Now out of the entire list, this is something that I definitely recommend that you guys experiment with because this is something else that not a lot of people are wearing in high school. Now I always hear a lot of people talk about how they love polos. In my opinion, I don't really like the short sleeve ones, but the long sleeves are a much better alternative because they still give off that sophisticated look of a regular polo but it just looks a lot better in my opinion it's also gonna be another great piece for the fall so I definitely recommend that every student pick this up just so you guys can stand out great places to get these are from fashion over men's and ASOS either one that you get just experiment with the colors but anyways guys those are the eight things that I recommend that every student should be wearing so you guys can upgrade your style hopefully this did help if it did make sure to leave a like I would really appreciate it I just want to thank you guys for all the constant support lately we've been growing pretty fast lately it's actually crazy and I just want to say thank you I can't wait to see where this channel takes us I just hope that I'm helping you get more confidence and upgrading your style but anyways like I said that's it for today's video I hope you guys did enjoy and I'll see you guys in the next video later